people you are most welcome to english lessons online in today's lesson we shall be discussing drama in english literature and we shall be making reference to the son of umbili please if you have not subscribed to our channel kindly do so by pressing the red button and click the notification bell beside it to get notified when we upload a new video for those who have already subscribed thanks for subscribing and let's assure you of valuable content on this channel let's get right into the lesson we shall begin this lesson by looking at what drama is a drama is simply a story in a play form that is intended for performance on stage a drama is a story in a play form that is intended for performance on stage. The Son of Umbele by Bill Marshall is an example of a drama or play. Types of Drama In today's lesson, we shall look at three types of drama. Tragedy, Comedy, Tragic Comedy so let's take this one after the other and at the end of the day we'll be able to tell which type of drama the son of umbele is tragedy tragedy is a type of play which ends sadly because the main character ends unhappily or disastrously usually the main character either dies or suffers great pain because of his or her own flaws or weaknesses. Comedy This is a type of play which makes the audience laugh. It usually has a happy ending. So basically this is what comedy is. Comedy makes us laugh and then it also has a happy ending. There is no sadness in comedy. Tragic comedy. As the name implies, this combines the features of tragedy and comedy. Such a play may be sad but will have a happy ending, or it may be serious with some elements of humor emerging throughout the whole play. So, now where do you think the son of Umbele falls under? Is it under tragedy, comedy, or tragic? comedy the play the son of umbele is a tragedy this is because the main character joshua suffers destruction through his own flaws so the son of umbele clearly is a tragedy it did not have a happy ending because the main character falls at the end due to his own flaws and weaknesses elements of drama so in this lesson we shall look at these elements of drama theme setting characters plots acts theme the theme of a play refers to the central idea of the play it is the message that the play gives to the audience as well as the lessons learned from the play. For instance, the theme of a play could be how greed leads to one's destruction, it could be true friendship, it could be selfless love, etc. So we want to look at some of the themes in the Son of Umbili. The son of Umbele, for instance, is based on love, hospitality, adventure, etc. So when we look at the theme of love in the son of Umbele, we see how Sumako shows love for his household, which is manifest in the fact that Sumako teaches his sons how to fish. And is always worried for them whenever they do not appear on the expected time. We see that Joshua also expresses love for Duella, and Duella also reciprocates the love. Then, when we look at hospitality, 
In the play, we see that Sumako welcomes Joshua, the stranger, to his house and accepts him to be part of his household and as part of culture, gave him water to drink. We can also see the theme of adventure. For example, Joshua is a wanderer because he seeks to find the third end and in the end he loses his life without achieving his goal. So these are some of the themes in the Son of Umbele. Setting. The setting of a play basically is the time and place that the story in a play takes place. The time and place that the story in a play takes place. For example, the play The Son of Umbele is set in two places. We have the first one being the home of Sumako, and then the second one being the seaside. So these are the two main places where the son of Umbele is set. Plot. Plot of a play refers to the order of events occurring within the story of a play. Essentially, the plot is the story the play narrates. It reveals the cause and effect relationships between the events that occur, what the characters do, how they interact, what happens to them at the end constitutes the plot. So the plot is basically the order in which the story is being narrated. So we see that Joshua, in seeking for the third end, finds himself in Sumako's house then Sumako welcomes him into his home. Joshua falls in love with Duela. Then we see that the story progresses in that order. So the beginning of the play, we see what happens to the characters. We see how they behave. Then in the middle of the play, it continues. Then at the end of the play, we are able to know what happens to the characters. This order of presenting events is what we call the plot. Characters. Characters simply are the persons of the drama. Character, particularly when enacted by an actor in theater, involves the illusion of being a human person. Characters guide the audience through their stories, helping them to understand events and ponder on themes. Actors play the role of the characters. So this is basically what a character is. So let's look at some of the characters in the Son of Umbele. These are the characters in the Son of Umbele. Sumako, Benko, Zeki, Atu, Dweller, Joshua, Peasant Women. These are the persons of the drama. And actors play the role of these characters. Acts. Acts are basically the major divisions of the play. The major divisions of the play. The son of Umbele is in three acts. Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3. The first act introduces us to the household of Sumako and his children with their sick mother. The second act is about the love affair between Joshua and Duela. And then the third act looks at the duel between Benko and Joshua, which finally leads to Joshua shooting himself. So this is the end of today's lesson. In today's lesson, we looked at the meaning of drama. We also looked at the types of drama and we looked at some elements of drama. Please, if you do not understand anything, do not hesitate to ask in the comment section. And please, if there is anything or any lesson you like us to present on this channel, kindly let us know in the comment section. And remember to hit that red button. And if you love this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, share it to others so that they can benefit from it. See you in our next lesson. Bye.